So guys, we came to a grocery store here in uh, Brasilia, and there's something about Brazilian grocery stores that they take forever. Forever, man. Look at this lady. Now that happens for every single item. So guys, we started the barbecue and I am here with the only uh, We're gonna be uh, cooking this food for a little bit, but um, let me tell you what happened. We came here and we weren't prepared at all. We didn't bring anything. We just brought the food. We forgot to bring like the, the grill and all the steaks and stuff. But then these nice people over here help us out a little bit. And they also rent stuff here. This is a really nice place. It's like a lot of uh, barbecue pits. And then there's the lake over there, which we will see in a little bit. But right now we're just gonna wait for the food to cook and then have a have some grub. Yep. What's up? So we have a new uh, addition. addition to the group right here. What's up? Addition to the salted meats club. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> tell us about the. Tell us how was the barbecue. Wow. Well, uh, we were told that this was a salted meats ex <laughs> expedition. Uh, we were preparing for about six months on the trail, and so we cooked all of our meat, basically battered in salt. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we pretty much marinated the whole meat in salt. As you guys can tell, it was really, really salty. But uh, the good thing was that she didn't, she wasn't hungry. Like she was, she already ate before she came here. And she was just very nice. Like she's a very nice girl, and still ate it. But uh, this has recently been rinsed. Yeah, we rinsed the beef because it was so salty. That's the first time I think I've ever rinsed cooked meat. And another weird thing was that our host left us here. And so we don't know if he's coming back or if he just left us here. But I'll we'll probably go walk on the lake over there or something. So we'll see. Alright, you guys, we're getting ready to go downtown or somewhere. Somewhere to go dance. <laughs> uh, Latin music, which let me tell you guys something. Now. It's not the same as in Central and South America where they dance salsa, cumbia, bachata. Because all of that is in Spanish, and here they don't, they don't really listen to anything that is in Spanish. So they have their own music here, which is Fajo, uh, Santanejo, and other stuff. Um, the other one? This is the Samba, Samba. Samba. All that stuff, which is very different than the Latin. Nova. Very different than the Latin American, Central and South America. So we're going to one of those clubs with these girls that don't know how to dance. Well, we kind of know how to dance. <laughs> so we got the upper hand. Uh, so we came to the mall here. This is a mall, but it's like packed with people, which is good. It's a Sunday though, so everyone's out here to party. So we have some nightclub over there. We're like trying to find where the party's at. Still going at it. I'm talking to myself, I'm sorry. Hey, we, ha we have a new... Uh, Addition to the group. Yes. <laughs> They're friends from like you dancing. You think it's like it's Gabriella? like five in the morning, but it's not. It's actually like tw midnight. Yeah, and there's nothing to do. There's no party. There's nothing to do. <laughs> We're trying to find it. Yeah. It's very nice building. This is a pretty nice building. Yeah, in Brasilia, everything's closed at this time. So. It's like the city that sleeps all the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's nothing going on in this city after twelve. After 12, there's nothing going on here. I thought it was two friends, seriously. I didn't know it was like this. And I live here. It's amazing. I'm glad we both learned something here. <laughs> um, I did find a place, she was right. We went through all those stores, it was very empty, but we found this place, and guess what? Hookah. A hookah bar. Bunch of uh, international people here. It reminds me of my younger years.